to start a new drawing, click AutoCAD icon, click New, and select Akadiso 3D for metric units, and click Open. I'm going to open my reference drawing, so I'm just going to click the icon and select uh, flange elbow drawing and then I'm gonna arrange both windows side by side so click view and select tile vertically I'm just gonna adjust my screen make this one smaller make this one bigger and I'm gonna work on parallel projection so click this drop down arrow and select parallel I'm just going to bring this to home and I'm going to start from front view, which is this one here. All right. So bring your drawing to front view. So click custom view, click front. I'm going to draw a line from this point up to this point for 150 millimeters. So L for line, click anywhere on the screen, bring your cursor upward for 150 so enter 150, right click to pit line in point, travel to your right for 150. Now, so I'm going to apply fillet with a radius of 60. So inside the modify panel, select fillet and go down to the command window, click radius option and enter 60. Click this line and click this line. Now, I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command. Right click to enter and just window the whole thing. Now, this is one object. Now, as you can see here, the diameter for this hole here is 60 for the inside diameter and the outside diameter is 72. So, what I'm going to do is offset this one halfway. So, offer offset and enter 30 which is half of 60, click this um, object, click to the right, click this object again and click to the left and O again for offset and enter half of 72 is 36, so enter 36 for offset command, click this object, click to the right, click the object again and click the left side. And now uh, I'm gonna draw a circle from center and click the endpoint. So it means this one has, I'm just gonna double click. See it's 72 and 36 for radius. Another circle, so C for circle. Endpoint, I'm gonna click the one again for to double check. So 30 for radius, 60 for diameter. Now go to modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select sweep. And select the objects you want to sweep, which is uh, the two, which are the two circles. Right click, enter, and select sweep path, which is this one. I'm just going to change this to X ray, uh, no, realistic. I uh, know, wireframe, sorry. All right. Uh, shaded with adjust first. I'm going to use subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object that you don't want to create a bore. There you go. I'm just going to turn off the grid. Now I'm going to create this portion here, this one, the flange, which is also this one. Uh, so I'm going to bring my drawing to top view. So click custom view, select top. And I'm going to draw the flange on this side. So C for circle. Click anywhere. And then enter the outermost circle here is 42. So just enter 42 for radius. The next one is uh, 30. So C for circle. Look at center. Just hover over. Click center and enter 30. And the next one, so C for circle, hover over, click the center, type D for diameter option, and enter 68. I'm going to draw a guide by using line. So from this point to this point, so line from center, 
what do you write for 60 units or oh, before we proceed please go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and maybe selection cycling and dynamic ucs okay moving on so see for circle enter click this in point enter 20 another circle in point and enter 10 which is this one here and this one now i'm going to draw a line so l for line command right click to enter and specify first point i'm going to use tangent so just shift right click and select tangent hover over the side once you see that tangent um, icon uh, it's a circle with a line on top and then hover over here shift right click again select tangent just click once you see that sign there you go and then i'm gonna mirror this line click to enter and specify first point of mirror line it should be from the center to make it symmetrical and travel to your right as long as the line is straight click anywhere and select no i'm gonna trim so tr for trim command enter twice and just uh, click those two objects or this uh, line or that line uh, curve and that one and i'm just gonna delete those two and then now m i again for mirror command right click to enter select this one this one here this one and specify center from center move your cursor up you can hit that intersection or as long as it's straight won't matter click and select no now trim again tr for trim command enter twice i'm just gonna remove this one now i'm gonna join oopsie i think i erased this one accidentally so i'm just gonna mirror this one from center sideways select no now join the segments by typing j for join command right click and just window the whole thing and i'm gonna extrude or this one first i'm gonna move as, as you can see here the distance from this uh, circle here which is this one to the circle below it is four so this one is the is this one here and this one just gonna double click to show you see the diameter is 68 which is also this one all right and the distance in between these two circles is four so what i'm gonna do is click this one right click move and just click anywhere for your base, base point move it downward for four units now i'm gonna use loft command so inside the modeling panel click this drop down arrow and select loft click this circle and this circle and just enter twice all right now i'm gonna extrude these objects so go to modeling panel and select extrude command move it downward for the thickness for that is 10 i i believe let me check yeah this one here and then you subtract command inside the solid editing panel select subtract click the object you want to keep right click and select the objects you want to remove or subtract and this one and this one here and i'm gonna poke a hole through this center so go back to modeling panel select press press pull command hover over this area left click let go of your finger bring it down left click again i'm gonna copy this one and move this one from the center of the bottom 
snap that and then hover over and once you see that circle snap that and for this one and we have to rotate this one so inside the modify panel click 3d rotate select the object enter specify base point you can click anywhere actually and then hover over and one once you touch that green circle and it turns to gold click that and just turn it around from this point move it upward and straight for not you know it uh, rotates for 90 degrees and just click anywhere here and then move this one snap the center make sure to snap the first um, cross that appears this one here and then attach it to the center here all right i think we are good i'm just gonna combine everything so go to solid editing panel click union command and just window the whole thing and i'm gonna change this to realistic I'm just gonna move this one and just delete those now I'm gonna change the color now maybe I'll change the color for this one to pink minimize this one all right fillet loop select this one accept select and enter and enter again and maybe this one here Right, click to select uh, fillet edge, loop, select this one, accept, uh, select this side, I'm just going to use next, accept, enter again, and enter, there you go, maybe this one too, this this edge so see you again and thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.